This video tutorial is a presentation on how to use the online purchase order system for the Northern Cancel. So we um, use um, an internet access, so you, we need to use your Internet Explorer or your Firefox to access the system. The first thing we're going to do is to start uh, Internet Explorer. So Internet Explorer, you might have an icon on your desktop. Uh, for me, I just click on the, uh, on the toolbar here. If you don't have a shortcut at the top here in the bar, like mine here, I click here. If you have the shortcut, that's fine. If you don't have the shortcut, you will have to write this line here, HTTPS, slash, slash, PWWeb, etc. And then you press return. And then you arrive at the uh, front page. And the first thing we have to do is to put our username. For me, is this one here. And the password you have been given. And click login. Once you're in, you have the last purchase order you've requested. So straight away, we want to go to transaction and create a new requisition. So we want to create a new uh, purchase order. So left click on new requisition. All right, from the top to the bottom, we are going to select the workflow. The workflow we use is NLC work, NLC WF, here, the first one. And then I'm going to select the business unit. So this is basically your account, uh, the project code you are going to use. So let's say I'm one of the ranger group and I'm, let's say, Balgo. I'm going to use AP306. I have to look for AP306 in the list here. Because there is a lot of um, uh, group here, so you can select them. I found it here in the list, AP306. That's fine. But I can also, if I know the number, I can write straight away here AP306. I'll wait a little bit and it will tell me all the ones got AP306. If I try AP307, then I've got Garawa. But I'm interested because I'm, let's say, Bulgo. I'm going to use Bulgo called AP306 Bulgo. Then I probably go, will go straight to the description and the description will be, let's say, I want to buy um, a, new, um, a new camera. So Garmin the GPS camera and accessories whatever the description of what you want to buy the reference is going to be your name so it could be my name here Peter Smith and whatever comment you want to add maybe an, um, Bogo Ranger new video project or maybe more detail on the camera, uh, serial number, whatever you reckon is relevant and would help to um, uh, follow this purchase order. Or the person you requested is over your delegation, they need to know uh, to have more details of what you want to do. And um, that's it. So now it's time to add uh, a new requisition line. So that's the next item here. So we're going to click add on the plus here left click okay item number this is where this is sort of the subcategory and um, uh, we have to find it in the list here so for us it's a sort of a um, um, an IT thing or camera so have a look at what is relevant to, to this so let's say if uh, it's for fuels you will select fuel something related to funeral funeral whatever is, um, uh, let's say, field work equipment, 363. Because that's uh, the camera is used for the field trip. And that's pretty good. So we go through there. So we've got the right uh, item number, because the description, that is, we don't have to do anything. Units of measures, so to, they pretty want to know what's the price. So each, we don't have to touch nothing. So who is selling this to us? Um, for me it's area 9 so I can go in the list it's going to load everything uh, but I'm going to start writing area 9 so if you know the name just write a little bit of the name area 9 here it is you know that area 9 is in the text so I can select this so you have your local fuel provider 
um, uh, it could be uh, also um, as long as you know the name of the shop you just write a little bit and you will see it in the list if you cannot find it just go through it and uh, if you're uh, in the list um, or you have, might have to call uh, the finance department at the uh, Netherlands Council to, um, to add some new uh, account here but for us area 9 area um, there's many areas I'm saying so area 9 that's the one here Okay, Australian dollar, that require, we don't know, the GL account is correct one, so uh, AP306 and subcategory subaccount 363. Quantity require, I need two, and the unit cost is um, $530. Okay. So if I've got a delegation, a delegation of uh, under 500, which is the case, it will have to be approved by um, my supervisor or my manager. And then when it's approved, you will receive an email. If you have a delegation that is uh, higher than um, the price you're asking, you will receive an email straight away, it will be approved straight away. So in this case, if, if the price is five, two at 530, that make it $1,060, I will need to go through uh, my manager. You just have to wait for him to approve it. Or, uh, if, if they cost $100 each, that will be uh, $200, I've got delegation of 500 I don't need to go through my manager, it will uh, be approved automatically. So I just, uh, so let's say they 400 each, I'll know I will, I will need to go through the uh, delegation and I just click insert. That's it, so we have the top bit that's been filled properly, we added a new requisition line um, with the right details and then I just have to submit it. So when I'm going to click submit, it will straight away go to uh, our man to the, your supervisor. If it's over the limit, if it's not over the limit, it will be approved straight away, and you will receive an email. Regardless of what's going to happen, you will receive an email once the thing is approved. Then you can print the email, uh, the document, and uh, send it to your provider, or send an email straight away to your provider and uh, the payment will be done a little, a little bit later on. So just don't forget to click submit and uh, wait for the email to come back. After a little while it's probably time for me to check if I've received the email of the approval of the purchase order or the requisition that I've asked before. So normally if you have asked, if it's under your delegation you should have received an email straight away, if not, if not you might have to wait for a little bit for your supervisor to approve it. So let's have a look to our email now, so I'm going straight to my email and yes I can see I received um, an email from the purchasing workflow, and this email from Netherlands Council and I've got a PDF document attached to this email, that means that the purchase order has been approved and I can now send it to my provider and buy the, uh, the camera. The payment will be done automatically by the Netherlands Council. 